There's a weird yellow German furry thing on my tyre. Before we set off on our epic voyage, if you do like what the channel does, please subscribe. It's what makes the channel grow. Welcome back to Accessible Autos. We are putting my 2005 Alfa Romeo GT through its ultimate test. It's a 300 pound car which I bought at auction and I'm gonna see whether it will drive from Birmingham in the UK to Prague in the Czech Republic, which is a very, very long way. So let's see if it'll do it. Just set the sat nav and the distance is one million miles. Here's a little map so we uh, understand how long this journey actually is from Birmingham straight down to London down to Folkestone, crossing the Channel Tunnel, through France for about half an hour, into Belgium, through Brussels, head towards the German border, Cologne, Frankfurt, Nuremberg, and Prague in the Czech Republic. Unbelievable. I've been going literally 15 minutes, and this is the M40 southbound, and it's completely and utterly stationary. I've made it as far as Clackett Lane, that's 130 miles into my 800 mile journey. This is one of my favorite parts of the journey is loading onto the channel tunnel. It looks like they've had a pizza delivered there. There's a bloke with a motorbike and a pizza on the back. And uh, there was a very friendly ladies loading him onto the channel tunnel. You see what I mean about nice French ladies on these uh, trains? Oh, she's calling her friend over. Uh, they're obviously not happy with something on my car. Hey, Michelle, come here. Have a look at this man's car. Oh, Claudette, he looks like the man of accessible autos. Yes, he is, Michel. Look at the car, though. What an old banger. Apparently, he only paid 300 euros for that. Mm. He's a very sexy man, though. I like him a lot. Do you think we should let him on the train? Oh, no, I'm going to hit you. Uh, I'm excusing everybody for my terrible French accent here. Um, they are actually umming and ahhing whether they should let such a terrible car onto the uh, Eurotunnel. Oh yeah, she says it's okay. So, I'm off. Getting on the Eurotunnel. Bonjour, je m'appelle David. Uh, je avais un Alfa Romeo GT. GT. That's probably my limit of my French. Thank you very much. I'm on the Channel Tunnel, halfway going across to uh, France. Ladies and gentlemen, we shall be arriving shortly. Please return to your vehicle. Uh, I've got 300 miles, no, 300 kilometers ahead of me. And um, roundabout, taking the first exit. And only my pompous sat nav man for um, company. Take the first exit onto Boulevard DL Europe. The security here in Calais is horrendous. It's like triple layers of fences with the uh, motion sensor fences and all sorts of other stuff. 
they uh, really do take the, the security of the United Kingdom very seriously. Three, away, three hours away from my uh, destination for the overnight stop. The um, I used to be young and fit and used to be able to drive straight through the night and it didn't bother me at all, but now I'm getting on a bit and I just want to have a sleep. So uh, I was playing last night until three in the morning, so I didn't get Take home until half three. So didn't get a fat amount of sleep. But, um, it's all right, I'm looking forward to my bed in Ligier, Lige, or whatever it's called. Um, yeah. So I've just parted with 50 euros, filled the car up to the brim, and unfortunately it's not saying it's got the, uh, the first exit. even after brimming the car as much as I possibly Take could, the first exit. it's not enough Take fuel to get me home, to which is a bit of a shame, 600 miles state. from Calais to my house, and the car saying it's got 455 miles. Um, I'll see if I can improve on that a little bit by driving very, very slowly. So I've done my uh, first overnight stay uh, on my trip with Alpha Man. There's the Alpha. It's looking pretty good. There's the hotel, which is a bit weird. Um, and I'm on my way. Part two, Germany. Right, we're in Germany now, which is um, a very good thing as far as I'm concerned. It means I'm halfway there. The good thing about Germany is they have no speed limit on a lot of their autobahns, uh, so you can go as fast as you like, and I should be going 70 miles an hour because that's how fast I like to go. Um, and because I'm British and that's how fast we go in England. I just had a bizarre experience where a guy in a, uh, it was a Dutch bloke, I assume it was a man because no woman could be that stupid, um, it was a Dutch guy driving a Porsche Boxster. Now, he was idling along in the middle lane and I overtook him. I was just starting to overtake him at about 75 miles an hour in the, uh, in the fast lane, in lane three. And just as I got level with him, I heard the sort of clunking of his DSG and a massive whirring of, of engine. But he didn't really accelerate because I, I don't know why he couldn't drive or something, but he just didn't pull off very quickly. So I heard all the, the noise and then this, this Porsche sort of gradually booted it up the middle lane. But he only waited until I was level with him before he did that. And a couple of seconds later, I pulled out of the way for this, um, this enormous Mercedes that must have been doing 140 miles an hour. And he just went past the Porsche without even blinking. Germany. There's a weird yellow German furry thing on my tyre.
So I've done my epic drive across Europe. The Alfa Romeo proved itself for a £300 car. It can do a thousand mile journey non-stop. And now I've realised I've got a few other things that I need to deal with. The aircon doesn't work. The cruise control doesn't work, which was really annoying. And the thermostat seems to be stuck open because it just does not blow hot. So there's three things that I've discovered on the journey. Um, also, um, I have the epic task of having to change the headlights in the Alfa Romeo because... I have to get this through a Czech MOT and of course British headlights dip one way and European headlights dip the other. If you've enjoyed the video please subscribe to the channel, there's going to be loads of other car stuff going on as well, we've got classics, we've got the Alfa Romeo project and I'll be cooking your headlights in the next episode. Thanks for watching.